It's me, non-binary Batman. I heard you tweeted out there's only two genders, you cis scum. There's 137 genders. I'm non-binary Batman, and I'm taking you down to Arkham Asylum for gender re-education camp. You scum. What's that? Transgender Commissioner Go Jane Gordon? My god. Someone's being misgendered at GameStop. Serotonin, mount up. Let's roll. It's me, non-binary Batman. Fresh off another case of making Twitter a safe space, especially for those in marginalized communities. Back to the Batcave we go to finish waterboarding known Canadian extremist and diabolical hater louder with Steven Crowder. What's that? No serotonin. We won't be torturing Milo Yiannopoulos anymore. Why? Because we don't have time. He never gives us any information. He just keeps coming every time we tie him up and hit him. And frankly, Alfred said he would quit if he had to clean up any more Milo jizz. So back to the back cave we go. Mount up. Let's roll. It's me, non-binary Batman, here to wish you a happy new year and to let you know that in 2021, I will finally make this app a safe space for those in marginalized communities. This is the most problematic app on the internet besides those old creeps on TikTok watching young kids dance. But it's a story for another day as I fear that might be my arch nemesis, the diddler. So remember... If there's a comment section in need, call on non-binary Batman, indeed. Well, 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 it looks like somebody wants some non-binary beef with non-binary Batman. Ryan Long, I've had about enough of your alt-right comedy stylings, you cis scum. Just another Canadian gender extremist. I'm shocked that a man from the land of free health care and sex changes for all would be so intolerant. Remember, when there's a comment section in need, call on non-binary Batman. Indeed. It's me, non-binary Batman. It appears our friendly neighbor to the north is a hotbed of cis extremist activity. Such a shame for a lovely place with health care and sex changes for all. But this is the same place that denied fellow freedom fighter Jessica and Eve her right to have her testicles waxed, regardless if they're trained for it. Professor of Evil and Hate, the fiendish Jordan Peterson, is releasing a new book called Beyond Order, 12 New Rules for Life. More like 12 new rules to suppress and deny the rights of a marginalized community. Only an evil tramp like alt-right Penguin could publish such dangerous discourse through his maniacal Penguin Publishing Company. Thank God Alfred agreed to infiltrate a men's rights activist group planning a book signing for their evil leader, an international social justice criminal, Gordon Peterson, where I'll finally be able to take him down and bring him an alt-right Penguin to Arkham Asylum for gender re-education camp. There's only one hour until the book party. Serotonin, mount up. Let's run.